G'day, this is Captain Noob, and I have got one question, one particular concept on my mind. Can you solve a colossal problem using nothing but laser guns? So, this is going to be one of the laser guns we're using. This one is called Hate, and the other one, this one is called Love. So, this one's quad fire rate for just getting as many bullets out there as possible, triggering Tormentor. And this one is to do damage. Hate is stronger, more powerful, more satisfying to use, but it's not as long-lasting as love, you see. There we go. And so we're doing 96 there, 96 there. Got a calibrated capacitor, so crit spamming is the way to go. And I've got my health low. And some people, like, I don't know what the hell they've got the problem with, with people playing games where they say, oh, you're using this weapon, but... It's still a bloodied build. It's not a bloodied build. I'm just tuned to low health. And there's a lot of reason that you want to be low health in this game. Namely this, alright? This luck stat being over 34 and me using critical savvy means I get a crit every other shot. If you can't see how that could increase your overall damage, sustained DPS, then you need to get around that. And you need to figure out that this is why I do it, alright? So, with that in mind, we've got better criticals as well. Bloody mess. Probably could have removed that for quick hands. Getting that extra little bit of damage is nice. But having to skip the reloads, uh, having a plan to skip the reloads would be great. We've got COVID operative. Don't have the Mr. Sandman perk. So, that has been replaced with two ranks of Dodzy. Just in case I've got a bit of AP and Copper Smack somewhere. is going to be doing 20% less damage, which helps me survive a little bit. Got a little bit more endurance than the usual stuff. And as well as life give it to increase my health a little bit more. So despite being at low health, we actually have a lot more health than usual. Nerd Rage is there because I may as well use that because I'm under 20% health. And that gives us AP regen. Very useful. And we've got a bunch of these commando perks. Two in ground panda so I can reload faster. And that kind of helps me just smash out DPS. You only really need the... Concentrated Fire 1 in here because we've got good range weapons and they're unsuppressed so we can use them better at range So uh, with that in mind, we can just tuck, chuck two points in ground panel to get that damage up Tenderizer is nice. We've got a couple of multiplicative perks. Tenderizer is one of them. We've got this one um, I don't actually know how this perk works, but I'm in a team. So if they attack me, then I'll do more damage to them I don't know, uh, but if it not, I'm at least amused by the uh, broke-ass commie bots here. Yeah, you go to hell, you stupid little commie bot. Also, follow through, because it's got a mosquito on it. I don't know how that really fits in with suppressed rifles, but it's the mosquito of multiplicative damage. You want him in your uh, special card loadout. Also, it's a bunch of extra things, so I can fill out the uh, perks a little bit better. And... I'll go over the armor because it's all good stuff. I actually don't put the asbestos line chest piece on, but all of my things are unyielding, and they've also got armor, refresh AP and stuff, and some of them are harder to detect while sneaking, so that's kind of useful. That one even has damage reduction while sprinting. That's nice. I don't even know if we get that much use out of that, but that's good. But we'll take these two laser guns in, and uh, we'll see how we go. I don't know what I'm doing with this firework. Can I drop it? Probably. Yes. Alright, we're on here. Let's go. And uh, maybe we should drink some purified water because it's important to say hydrated. So, that's the kind of damage we're getting just with like the standard little babby wendigos. This is obviously the uh, crit damage one. It doesn't have the massive fire rate, but we're out here wasting adrenaline. So, let's jump down there and uh, we see how we can go. Now, what I probably want to do is whip out the little Gatling laser that I've got here and uh, just like shoot at him until he's crippled. Maybe we'll start off with our crit damage one just to see how we go. Well, the health is going down fast enough, I guess. We can make it a bit faster if we go in third person though. And we still are in caution despite all of that. That probably won't last forever. So let's go attack the legs for now. There's one crippled. There's oh, we managed to get both of them. Good news. All right, then. Back over to the laser gun of the anti-armor variety. That's not bad. Gonna just go over here now. And it looks like we can perfectly time the reloads between him spitting. So with that in mind, and we should probably target the center head here just so we get a slightly better shot at it. And we can stack the damage on pretty fast there. 
somehow he hasn't figured out where we are despite firing laser beams at him which he could look and trace back to the active shooter here but it is what it is he's not the brightest tool in this shit i think we've established this and the crits we're smashing really brings the damage up quite significantly there we go a bit of stealth commando action with a oh, laser gun who would have thunk it all right so he's on the move again um still in caution somehow we'll try to maintain that stay out of the light here there we go and i feel like there's some wendigos beside me are they yeah, okay, they're up in the middle. That's all right. Let the peanuts be peanuts. And we'll go ahead and just keep on shooting him there. Now, what I could do now is just grab some coffee. But if this thing can do it without buffs, mate. I don't know how long I've been sleeping on, like, non-legacy laser guns for. But this is crushing. This is doing really well. And I think that's the fact that we can just trigger... Um, we can just trigger follow through constantly that's him back up and running and ooh, Jesus. Ooh, the slowdown is real that's not good might just bolt through the middle all right run now let's bring out a little gatling laser again and we'll get to work on the legs stagger damn it stagger no all right then we'll go over here then i object to that i was way further away than what you saw there and now we're on with like a billion wendigos looking at us and i've just noticed this thing's almost rooted i should probably have put more in gunsmith to be honest but we're back into caution now so as long as we don't get dry humped by these guys they'll have no bloody idea where we are and am i standing i'm standing on the embers right that's going to slow us down a little bit we had a really good little first stint i'm attacking him with the wrong ga with the wrong laser gun here let's bring back the quad Come on, give it to me, Al. Give it to me, Tormentor. Oh, boy. We've got a target-rich environment here. We might have to start culling the population, I think. This is not the one to do it with. Also, you can cancel a stagger by switching guns. All right. I don't have the muscle memory to do that, but it is certainly a good option. All right. Time for some fireworks, I reckon. Well, that did okay, I guess. Find the head. We've got to find the head. The head's the way you got to get the damage at. I can hear them all chasing me. This kind of reminds me of the the fight at the space station. Stimpak, please don't stagger. The in Ratchet and Clank one, where she's the the little monster queen thing. It screams and sends all the little little chocolate frogs at you. <laughs> it's like this. Yeah, we're a little bit overwhelmed here. I don't think the laser gun has the ammo capacity you know damage output to be effective against those guys so perhaps what you want to do in this situation is grab a really good backup weapon like a gauss shotgun a mini not a mini gun a grenade launcher a grenade launcher would be super here i forgot that it unloaded your weapons when you died that's annoying the cost of resurrection is a fucking reload not much of a problem for me i've got speed demon and such but now we can get on with it. Don't really care if Earl heals. I don't think he will because he'd be vaguely aware of my position at this point. God, that's so annoying. Uh, let's just get him about, maybe. And despite hitting him for like 50, uh, 5 damage, we sprang it to 15 damage thanks to... Thanks to follow through, which is not 40 more percent, but I'll take it. I'll take it, I tell ya. And if we're lucky here, we'll get another Torment to run. Let's bring the quad one out again. There we go. I want to have a quick run with the quad just to see what kind of damage we can get. It's not bad. It is not bad. But now we're in a position where we're being spat on and other things. I'm just going to quickly uh, get myself back into Nerd Rage. That could use a tune-up. Um got really interrupted here i'm looking through the menus i'm not a quick menu i'd be dead if i was playing a one of those bloody games where inventory management is important remember nuclear winter if you, if you step if you sat in your inventory for a very long time you are rooted you someone would come across you and kill you like two seconds all right we're at point blank range now let's run through this tunnel he can't chase us through here and so we're back on again, peanuts galore. Except for most of them are sitting in the middle there. I'd like to keep them there if at all possible. There's the big fella. 
Come on, Tormentor. I'm only rolling a 1 in uh, 20 chance to actually do it. I don't really... Mo that's seizure-inducing. Wow. Okay, I get that lasers create light, but that's... That's shocking. Wow, that, that's... I'm surprised that got into the game. I mean, that's kind of the effect, but... Man. I'm gonna switch over to the anti-armor one. Find the head. There it is. We gotta clear the field out a little bit. We'll get a bit of adrenaline doing this, so... There's multiple benefits, but I'd like to get back to shooting Earl the Bastard. Hello? Have we lost him? Oh, there he is. Ah, oh, quick, uh, quick toilet run. Fair enough, buddy. You gotta go when you gotta go. Uh, oh, he's thinking about the drill again. Trying to pull himself away from it. And we are on. And that might activate... Might activate uh, take one for the team. I don't actually know how that perk works. I put it on because it's had it... Well, you know my reasons. Come on, Tormentor, stop being so worthless. Now, um, here's another thing you could potentially do, is run run yourself with... Uh, run yourself with uh, a, just a suppress weapon just to cripple him without dying, because this is getting a little bit ridiculous now. No bloody way, mate. And he's not supposed to move when he's doing that, but he did it anyway. Fair enough. All right, we'll bring the quad one back out again. Give me the cripple. It sucks that they basically offer literally zero limb damage because you're just hitting them with a bit of heat, I guess. And I don't know, maybe it makes sense. It's got the power to disintegrate you. I'm glad he he gave me a bit of suppressing fire doing that. No, that's not the thing I wanted to target, game. Come on, Tormentor. One in 20 chance. Sooner or bloody later, you're going to give this to me. Hey, eh? Ah. Alright, we're gonna shoot at the right leg instead. The right leg looks like it's gonna break. Yes, run straight at the thing that's so terrifying. Actually, that was tactically advantageous because now I'm sort of over the other side of the arena. So, we're getting great damage and that is from Tormentor. We just need to pin this fucker in place. We're being shafted by RNG here. Par for the course for Fallouts. There we fucking go. How many rounds was that? I I gotta wonder whether it's a lower chance if you've got an automatic. Because I, I've heard that it's a lower chance if you've got an auto uh, heavy gun to activate uh, the stupid fucking one gun army thing. So maybe that's the case here because, you know, we're smashing out 100 rounds in a very short time here. It'd be a pretty much a guaranteed cripple. He always, he's got his ass on the drill again. He's on the drill again. Is he? Uh, I don't know, maybe. Really missing out on lots of premium damage here. Anyways, we'll continue. That's better. Where are the peanuts? Stay away, mate. We'll carry a bit of gun foo into that, despite only shooting his torso. It's better than a poke in the eye with a half burn stick, I guess. But now we can really sack this good old damage on. And we'll just sit well away from him. Another thing that I'd love to have, don't have enough luck points activated, is quick hands. Getting that extra reload? Oh, mate. You'd love to see it. The one in six chance of a reload so I can just keep on smashing bats out, like, every two seconds. Excellent. And we got hit there. Let's see if that actually benefits us. Uh, I can't tell. Too many numbers on the screen. We'll try to cripple his perception, eh? We'll see if that does anything. Come on. Actually, we seem to be... I mean, he is chasing us around. Fair enough. But he can't detect... We're just that sneaky. Alright. I'm going to bring out quite again. And then we're going to cripple his legs. Under the fire, maybe? Come on. All those crits and what? Nothing. Give it to me. Give it to me, Earl. Oh, there we go. Alright, that was a little bit delayed, but we made it in the end. Just need to go over here, back into caution. Very good news. And begin firing process. You can stack the damage on real quick. It's just that 
perhaps I just didn't put enough points in the Tormentor to make this really work and we end up being chased around for a very long time. Unfortunately, we do have to work a little bit against RNG here. There's thing again. Oh, he just he's going down pretty fast. So old laser gun. She's got a bit of bite to her. She doesn't have to be legacy to give up uh, put up a good fight. And don't back into the drill. That's Earl's job. And we're on here. No more leg crippling. We're just gonna do this. We're gonna do this fighting him. 1v1 style. There he goes. See you in hell, Earl. I'll deliver you some extra peanuts as well. You might get a little bit hungry down there. That's kind of the Wendigo's thing, being hungry. So there he is. He goes down. Um, and he gives us something that does not reflect the amount of effort I put into this. But which legendary bosses do, right? And you know what? I'm going to take that as my cue to leave. We'll get this repaired, we'll get it cleaned, and then I guess I will uh, find a way of closing the video in a satisfying manner. So, there you have it. A laser gun brought to Colossal Problem, and honestly, it did pretty well. It's a lot stronger than I thought. Now, I backed anti-armor on this occasion because I don't think Bloody would actually give me enough damage boost, so punching through half of his energy resistance, you know, post reduction, I feel like would just give me a little bit more damage, but it worked out in the end. We had a massive bonus from follow through and possibly the other one. I don't actually know if we did that, but since we were able to stay in caution that entire time, just being so far away from him, they didn't see us, which made no sense because we're firing lasers at him. He should know exactly where we're shooting him from. Um, we're actually able to push that really far. Only thing that really got like, it was the biggest problem there was just the Tormentor procs, which were few and far between. The uh, first section to the first mutation there was pretty awesome. We pretty much stopped him right away. We were able to smash away at his health bar until he mutated. That Then the problems happened, but I think that was a pretty good run regardless. So, there you have it. Laser gun, and I'll be taking requests for the next guns. Now, please don't say harpoon gun, paddle ball, or any other weapons that are just terrible that can't do it. Come on. We know the answer. Harpoon guns couldn't solve a colossal problem. Let's be real here. And on that note, thank you very much for watching, guys. See you next time.